As crew on halfway with Daniels goes searching for Dale down the line and he takes a neat enough touch to move the ball infield towards Chris Porter who hasn't had a shot yet I don't think in the entire game it's with Kirk Pickering overlaps him near the edge of the box again in comes Doherty ball price through towards Kirk inside the box and he appeals for handball and a penalty is given Cruz way he chipped the ball up and Jacob Greaves has his protests but the referee gives a penalty Regan Slater unhappy at, as well but Crew now have that opportunity to go 1-0 in front on his 550th league game. First faced Hull as a Berry man back in 2003, Chris Porter. Plenty of experience in those feet. And right-footed is he going to put Crew 1-0 in front? Or is Ingram going to deny him? Porter steps up and slides it into the back of the net. Matt Ingram did go the right way. I think he may have just been a little bit unsure, Matt Ingram, the way he dived to his left-hand side. Crew have the lead. Hull City are behind in their crucial away day. But Crew, with their playoff quest, which has ambition behind it in ambitious circumstances, lead against the table toppers by a goal to nil. So Honeyman couldn't score, but can he provide us? He looks to try and play the ball in. Didn't carry enough height. Elder, now he goes over. It's a penalty for Hull City. Callum Elder had a little touch of the ball, was then caught with a late challenge from the momentum of the crew defence getting out. And Hull City have that chance to equalise four minutes after crew put themselves in front. Callum Ainley was the man who made the challenge. He didn't need to make it as Callum Elder with a bit of a strong touch. Josh McGuinness came on the pitch seven minutes ago against Jaskalainen. The whistle is blown. McGuinness takes his time with his run up, smashes it into the back of the net and he doesn't even celebrate. He grabs the ball, runs back, Hull City a level and Josh McGuinness makes it 1-1. No nonsense, straight down the middle and the relief that will be now coursing through the veins of the Hull City players will be extreme and Josh McGuinness's sensational form coming back off international duty. It's the sixth time in a row he has scored in a game when he's returned from international duty. Five minutes of injury time. Five minutes to separate one of these sides to get all three points. And Hull City, how they need those extra two points considering what's happening at the Stadium of Light. It would give them that three-goal cushion, again, three-point cushion. Here's Doherty moving forwards towards Wilkes. Edge of the box right side. Steps into it. Three men in red around him. But Wilkes gets the shot away! Malik Wilkes has scored! He's had no luck all day, but he finds a goal now. And Malik Wilkes celebrates with every outfield player. Hull City in stoppage time have completed a turnaround at one of the hardest places to come in League One. It's Crew One, Hull City Two. He did so well, was very patient, had three men in red shirts around him, got into the penalty area. At first it looked a bit of a speculative effort, but it just hugged the right side of the post for Hull City and it drops in to the back of the net.